Hello, my name is Harry Brelsford, the founder of SMB Nation in the Seattle, Washington area. I'm a career technology professional in different realms, including having been a consultant, serving customers on the server side and cloud side. So today I want to talk about the workflow and management of running a consulting practice or an MSP practice, MSP Managed Services Provider, and I'm reviewing a product. You can see the URL below for the written report, but I wanted to have a conversation with you, and I'm reviewing the product Synchro MSP, and it's a California-based uh, uh, younger company that is um, spunky and agile, and they've come up with a PSA RMM solution. So PSA, Professional Services Automation, RMM remote management and monitoring, plus a little bit more. But to me, it all relates to the back office function of running your consultancy, your practice. And what I found, a couple of things. Uh, what I found is that they're simple. And by that, I mean they're not incomplete. They are, in fact, a very robust product. But for whatever reason, they're just spot on with the features and functionalities that they provide. And I don't feel what I call the Microsoft Excel um, situation where Microsoft Excel, as we both know, all of us know, has an amazing feature set. And I always feel like I'm only using about 10% of it, maybe on a tough day, 20% of Microsoft Excel. And it, it kind of drives me crazy that I'm not using the entirety of Microsoft Excel. But of course, um, some of the built-in functions, quite frankly, I don't need. And so I always feel it's a little bit of bloatware. It's a little bit of top-heavy. Microsoft has a reputation over the decades for that. That's not the case with Synchro MSP. Um, number one, it's cloud-based, so it doesn't have that uh, C drive uh, bloatware feeling. Um, number two, I think as much as the bits they've invested in the human engineering aspect so it's it's what we call kind of the wetware between the ears the bodies what is it, 80 90 percent water so they've invested in wetware um, and 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 again assuming the software is fine the features functionalities the speeds and feeds i'm going to show it to you in just a minute with uh, what my experience was but um, that's how I feel they came into the product from a different uh, paradigm, a different view. And in looking at the product, talking to a partner that uh, we're going to have a chat with in a little while, um, I think that that human engineering aspect is based on the customer feedback. So they've invested in a feedback loop to continuously get ideas for innovation based on what the customer wants, not what they think the customer needs. And they have frequent updates because of that. And, and, and part of that is because it's cloud-based. But let's take a look at the actual dashboard and I'm gonna walk you through what my experience was at, at a high level so you can understand what's, what's going on. So we're looking at the dashboard for Synchro MSP. And I've logged on and uh, the MSP practice is SMB Nation. I've logged on as Harry Brailsford. I created a customer. I'm going to click over and we're going to let that come up. I have Bainbridge Vision. Um, that's actually my eye doctor. It's not a fictitious company, but I, I like to use them in many of my uh, storytelling examples. So we have the primary contact is Sherry at Bainbridge Vision. Let's go over to Assets. In my testing of the product, we had a computer installed. So we have the iTester computer that's an unmanaged computer with a service tag. And there are no alerts. Tickets. With the tickets, we have a situation where we have a Windows XP migration matter on a medical PC. Now, Longtime SMB Nation members, viewers, readers, listeners will know that we carried the flag pretty hard on the Windows XP migration story in the 2014 timeframe, and you'd be amazed. And I'm not suggesting that Bainbridge Vision has a Windows XP scenario. Um, that's not the case, but again, you'd be amazed at what you see out there. So let's pretend 
that we found an XP migration situation at Bainbridge Vision that we need to fix. We go ahead, uh, we created an estimate to do said work and came up with a new machine and some time that it would take to perform the upgrade to a Lenovo desktop. We did the work and we invoiced. And now we're gonna go ahead and seek payment for that invoice uh, next time we have a chance from Bainbridge Vision. But we have an open invoice. Uh, it, it, in this case, it's, it's overdue, it's over 30 days. And um, they have paid the prior invoice on the labor. So the labor was $550. The hardware was just under $1,000. So we do, in fact, need to take payment for that. A couple of other things that I didn't play with uh, in, in, in a deep way in my research was the documentation. And what they're suggesting at Synchro with the documentation is this is a competitive uh, data store that competes with other documentation programs out there. But the key point is it's inside of Synchro MSP. And that, again, is what struck me as I worked with a product, I talked with the management team, I talked with a partner, um, uh, did, did some research, is that the inclusive nature of Synchro MSP is, is, is very impressive. I didn't feel that they were missing something. Um, and then finally, before we talk to the partner, I, I, I want to emphasize that I did this portion. So the company set up, the client set up, uh, a fictitious scenario in terms of a Windows XP migration, build for labor, got paid for labor, have billed for the hardware. I did all of this in under one hour. And to me, that's important because I don't necessarily want to be a COO um, in an organization. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I wake up thinking operations. I, I wake up thinking business development and geek activities over here. And so this freed me up to do that. And, and with that said, uh, we're going to talk to Nick Linus, a Synchro partner, and I'll see you on the other side. So the story continues. Again, I'm Harry Brelsford from SMB Nation, and I've carved out a little bit of time here at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando, Florida, to catch up with uh, Nick Linus, who uh, is featured prominently in the Synchro MSP review. So Nick, first of all, I want to thank you for your time earlier. Um, when I was doing my research, so I appreciate that. And a uh, quick introduction for those of you that don't know you. You're an MSP out of Oklahoma City. Give me give me two seconds on who Nick is, then I have about four questions for you. Okay, we're just uh, Oklahoma IT Solutions, um, based out of Oklahoma, obviously. Uh, we've been in business going on 10 years and have a couple dozen managed clients and a couple hundred endpoints. Great. And... Uh, you know, the folks uh, are enjoying the opportunity to read the review on Synchro MSP, and you made a big contribution to that. So question number one is, uh, you feel very strongly about the community. You feel strongly about some of the Facebook groups and so on. So why don't you kind of recast why you're so positive on community involvement, including the Facebook groups, if you don't mind? Well, to start, there's four, I don't know, probably four main Facebook groups out there that I follow as well as other MSPs and IT shops, and we kind of rely on each other to provide feedback, honest feedback, not sales pitches and all that. And over and over again, Synchro is recommended, uh, not only you know for their product, but their support and their involvement personally in the community, um, where they'll chime in on questions or requests, features, and they they provide the one-on-one -on -one interaction that you you don't really see with the you know big name players yeah everybody's switching from yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give you some context and i'll ask you question number two is that out here at microsoft ignite i'm bumping into some uh, old friends from the late 90s early 2000s the original small business server development team and and nick that's exactly what it was early microsoft and they they would go to the user group meetings at night they would participate up on the forum boards Somewhere along the way, we lost that. That's for a whole nother conversation, but I get it. And uh, so uh, my next question is, you made a comment 
that um, no other PSA or RMM platform can say they're truly built uh, from the ground up and, and offer the pricing that Synchro does. So you're talking organic growth, you're, 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 you're talking from the ground up, but you want to expand on that? Why you, you feel pretty strongly about okay. no one else can um, keep up with that statement? Yeah, uh, without naming names, you know, there's sure. the big, big three that have acquired bits and pieces to their solution over the years and almost force them to say they're integrated. But with Synchro, you are getting a solution that is literally built from the ground up to be a PSA, RMM, all in one. You can go from customer to ticket to asset to remote control, all within the same platform. No other logins, no other installs. It just, it flows seamlessly. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. And it kind of leads to my next question about, uh, let's talk economics. And so you you just talked about features, functionality, and, and I'll, I'll offer the practicality of the product. Let's talk money. So along the way, it sounds like you're saving you're, you're saving significant dollars by switching the Synchro MSP. Yes, we we've, we've saved over a thousand dollars a month uh, switching to Synchro, and that comes in the form of again just a simple one platform that we have to subscribe to, and their pricing model is like none other in the industry, where you're not paying per endpoint. That's old school to me. You're paying per tech or per, per user. So as your customer base or endpoint count grows, your expenses don't grow. You're, you know, you're, you're paying for the same amount of staff, so you can still be economical and yeah. grow. That's pretty cool. Yes. That's, uh, that's good to know. Well, hey, we're going to wrap up on, you made a prediction in the, uh, the product review that uh, mm -hmm. you, you feel by 2020, which by the way, uh, that's less than 18 months away, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> People forget that. But you're you're saying within a year or two that Synchro uh, is 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 going to be a standard MSP platform, if not a front runner. Um, let's go out on that. So you're pretty positive. Why 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 are you so bullish on Synchro and its growth pattern over the next couple of years? Because like I said, we we've been in MSP or in the repair industry for about ten years. Yep. And I haven't seen a single platform like this that has come along that has so many end users migrating from multiple platforms to theirs. And when I say multiple, I mean, there's the big three that everybody talks about. Sure. And in the Facebook groups, when you ask what, what platform is being used, it's recommended four to one synchro easy. And you've hmm. got people moving from every RMM and PSA out there to synchro. So you, yeah. don't, you don't see that with the other platforms. You don't see people jumping ship and, and moving to them in bunches. With Synchro, you've got them coming from every direction. Yeah. Well, well, let's end on that, sir. You've been so generous with your time the last couple of months as I got my head into the product. Uh, in fact, I leaned on you once or twice um, yep. for some assistance, and, 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 and I appreciate that. And, again, the people watching this have in their hands the product review, including your uh, – uh, further, you know, your expanded view. And uh, I, I, I I appreciate your time. And I'm, I'm going to say you're a scholar and a gentleman. I don't know if you're a lover of fine scotch and whiskey, but uh, hope, to, hope to see you at a conference sometime, my friend. It'd be fun. Maybe uh, maybe Microsoft Ignite next year. Let's put it on our calendars. That would be nice. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Take care. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 Harry Brelsford, I'm back with you. We're going to bring this Synchro MSP review video in for a landing. So let's, let's, let's talk about what we've accomplished together. We talked about the highlights of the Synchro MSP program, uh, the, the solution that they provide, my own personal observation with using Synchro, and uh, we talked to Nick uh, Linus, and Nick provided some insights into the broader ecosystem of Synchro MSP, where they fit in the SMB partner community, the culture, et cetera, what his experience has been, in addition to the pricing of the product and what I'll call the five Ps of marketing. I want to end on this note. Uh, since I started uh, to undertake this endeavor, 
uh, I had a uh, opportunity to refer a thriving MSP in Spokane, Washington, uh, a woman who I'll refer to as uh, Miss Kennedy, and she is the director of operations for a 66-year-old office supply photocopier repair uh, and sales organization. You've seen those office equipment organizations. And then she, she was brought on to create an MSP packet practice, which would be a natural act. And she has grown that to over half a dozen employees. And uh, she reached out and was looking at one of the more expensive, larger PSAs. And I full-throatedly and, and enthusiastically referred her over to Synchro MSP because I think when you're starting fresh, in her case, um, that that this is the right fit, it's focused, it's relevant. And uh, we'll check back in, in in a couple of months and see how Miss Kennedy's journey is going. But thank you for uh, watching this review, reading the report, and you can click down on the bottom to download the report. Have a great day. Bye-bye.